and welcome back to Straight Talk. So um, the community meeting wasn't only about the, uh, the movement and the walk and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Uh, what were some of the other things that they discussed? Uh, one of the big ones was uh, the iron worker situation. Um, they had all come in there talking about, they, they're complaining about their mandatory contributions to mm-hmm. the community. They're calling it a tax. Mm-hmm. My opinion, it would be a tax. But, you know, that's, that's them. There's, uh, apparently there was a situation where um, the five uh, representatives of the iron workers had gone and uh, worked out this agreement with council. Now, the way the story goes, they were telling it last night, is um, they had made an agreement where the five, the five men had said, the five representatives have told council, says, yes, we, we, we would support something like this pertaining to the uh, mandatory uh, contributions, but we have to bring it back to the men. This is what they're saying was, was uh, the way it had happened. Mm-hmm. So it seems they had went back to bring it to the men, and before this, they had even called back with a decision. The next day, a press release had come out stating that the men had agreed to this and this proposal, and apparently that, that wasn't the case. So the, the project is still going. I believe it already started. Phase B on the bridge. I suppose. I'm not sure. So how is that mm-hmm. going to affect the individuals who haven't agreed to to, the what, to what they're... They don't have a job. So they won't have it until... That's, that's, that's the stipulation on this <clears throat> contract, is that if you don't opt into paying, your, paying um, the, um, the union, you have to pay this mandatory contribution, which is, which is directly withdrawn from your paycheck before you even get it. Mm-hmm. It's not like you get your pay and then you go and say, okay, well, here's $20. It's, it's withdrawn right from your paycheck. And there's, there's the, the main argument for the reason why they're saying this is an income tax. Yeah, well, I, I have spoke to, uh, to Ashley a couple of times, and, and he had mentioned that he, he would like to, to come on sometime to talk mm-hmm. about it. We're still waiting. The, right. the invitation is still open to, to anyone who wants to come on and discuss some of those issues. Uh, and from what I understand, further to that, there is going to be a meeting today? Yeah, today there was supposed to be a Which private meeting say, just between Mike DeLille and these five representatives. He said he was going to leave his lawyers <clears throat> home, he was going to leave everybody home, he wasn't being mandated by the council. He said he's taking this on himself and he's putting his neck out. Apparently they made an appointment today and they're supposed to meet and talk this out. Yeah, but I know how that goes. Mm-hmm. He'll say what he wants behind closed doors and he'll do something different uh, when it comes back to the table. I've seen it many times. Well, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they can come to an agreement, but uh, they should bring a lawyer. Don't trust him. <laughs> 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 but what, are the, what were the other discussions that they had mm-hmm. um, at the, the, the community meeting? Another one was gaming. They talked about, um, it was just basically, basically an update as to uh, what they're um, researching so far into their casino project because they admitted last night that they're looking at a casino. You know, they're not looking at a bingo everybody, or a jump poker. We all knew it was a casino, know, but I mean, they were afraid to spill the beans right away because they know that's a bad word in Ganawaga. And it is. If they, if, I think if they go with the project, um, you know, they're going to cause a civil dispute in this community. They're going to, it's going to be people like We don't have people, enough already. <laughs> groups against groups and everything else like that. I can't see them doing anything before the elections because mm-hmm. I don't think any of them have the, I won't say it, are, <laughs> are, 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 bold, are, bold enough, are bold enough to throw that in your face before an election. Wow. I don't think that'll happen unless they decide that they're going to do another referendum during the election which is a lot of horse shit too. I don't, you know what, they always end up throwing it in, in, in there. Like last time, the same thing, is that they did it, but it, it ended up biting them in the ass uh, because a lot of traditional people who don't usually vote came out and vote just for the referendum. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. and, that, and I'm sure that's gonna happen again. Uh, I can't see that happening. I, I, can, I, I have an idea of what they're going to try to do though. And, um, and, and, and I've but said it before, a, they're, they're going in a different yeah. direction, they're using a different strategy, they're using scare tactics, they're using a lot of things, and we've mm-hmm. talked about some of them, and I, have not, and, and I, see, I can see what, what's going on and, mm-hmm. and how that's transpiring, and I'll, and I'll wait for that, because um, I'll, if you want to know, I'll tell you off air, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I, can see, I can see the direction and, and what they're using to, to try to get to that at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I think that it, it, it's going to be a difficult sell to this community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, so, dividends might help you know. some people.
You know, Do you know what? Don't don't give me that. There, that's, no, that's, there's that's, no that's, way. There's no way in hell, and I'll tell you. There's no way that they're going, you're going to get a dividend it's check a payoff. for that. They're not going to pay you anyway. It's just the payoff. You're not it's getting it. It's just trying to bribe you. Say well, you'll get some money this time. You didn't last time. This not, time you'll get it. You're not getting it. <laughs> They're not getting it. Well, they're going to funnel. They'll fund the money. But, but remember that there is still a portion of the population that will be sold on that. No, no, I understand you that, know, but you're that, not. But that, you're not getting money. There's, there's, there's a portion of the population that will believe that. You're not getting a check. I'm telling you right now. There's no way that they're going to be able one. to. <laughs> there's no way that they're going to be able to issue. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just ten thousand checks. He said that um, it wouldn't. The dividend would. Uh, go for infrastructure and of course so it is. like already yeah, you know they're, they're, they're they make it sound good that yeah we're all gonna get a big fat check but okay exam. well the town workers are gonna have to fix the roads and they're not gonna give you anything and they good. said they don't so want it, they don't want us to become uh, dependent on it either they're so full of it that's just an excuse of not giving you anything they're not giving you not much yeah yeah they're they, you know it's a lot of crock I mean this you know what we can talk about this at a whole show and we will yeah. the closer we get to to it. Um, and um, as uh, shows go on, we're going to be discussing this a lot, believe me, because um, it's not going away. <laughs> it's and then, not and going this, away. <laughs> and, then, and the thing is, there's a lot of people in this community, a lot, that I speak to that don't want it. Um, and they said, we, we told you once, told you twice, and tell you again, it's going to be no. And if not, then I can, I, I, I'm not going to say, but I... I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of problems in this community and it's going to be as a result of that. And then what are they going to do? Make us a police state because of it? Yeah. So it's something that I, I'm, I'm hoping that it's, it's taken care of the right way and not I'm going to do it anyway type of situation, but it's a wait and see. Mm -hmm. It's just that, um, I don't know, it's going to be tough. We'll see how that's going to cause so problems here. Yeah. It already is. And, um, and it's going to be more if they if they try to make that decision without having the community on board. Yeah. But um, you know we'll we'll talk about that as as the weeks go on. We're we're going um, weekly, so um, that's a good thing um, for three weeks anyway out of mm -hmm. the month. So one the last week uh, will be will miss, but then we're going to go weekly. So every week we're going to have a show. So it gives us more time to discuss some of the topics in more in depth and stuff like that. But um, with that in mind, um, recently there was a um, an award given out mm -hmm. for the uh, second one. The second one for the Jesse Deer uh, Media is it a media? Memorial uh, Jesse Deer Memorial, Memorial for Scholarship for Media for Media yeah. And the um, the person who the recipient the recipient the successful recipient this year was. <laughs> Oh, Brittany LeBorn. Brittany. Congratulations. <laughs> Brittany LeBorn. Congratulations, uh, Brittany. Good job. Um, the first recipient was still sitting in this room with us. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> she's, producing, she's producing our show. She wins yeah. the award, and now she's telling us what to do. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Just Jessica, goes to show. Jessica, dear. Yeah. But, um, yeah, my mom attended, and she was really... <clears throat> I don't think she went to it last year, but this year she was there, and... Mm -hmm. She was like really happy to to be involved, and you know she's always so proud of everything that he's accomplished. So. Mm -hmm. And it's what is it? It's 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 us, the Eastern Door, the radio station. You already was there. Yeah, and who else? There's just those four, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know they they do a good job to to be able to set up uh, something like that for Jesse and. Um, Jesse was a nice, a good guy, and yeah. he worked for everybody, and mm -hmm. very well liked by everyone. You know, and uh, it's. I guess it's something that that's gonna gonna go for a long time. Um, a lot of people are supporting it, and uh, congratulations again to to Brittany. Well, that covers uh, another show. <laughs> Thank you very much again uh, for coming on, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Welcome. Yeah, You're welcome will. to come back. Oh, I will. Believe me, <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot to say, <laughs> and uh, we want to hear it. So yes. If you have any questions or comments surrounding this show or any of the shows that we have done, you can email us at mohawktv at hotmail.com or call us at 450-632-NEWS. That's 450-632-6397. That wraps another one. Nyawa and Onagiwa. Onagiwa.